welcome to your Monday morning yoga minutes. I'm Audra Monk, and hold on, of course, I notice that, there we go. I'm going to be laying on the floor, and we need to be able to see the mat on the floor. Sorry about that. All right, let's get started again. So I'm Audra Monk, and you can find me and Carla McAdams and all of our wonderful yoga teachers at Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland. All right, let's get started. Come on down to hands and knees. Um, we're gonna take care of strengthening and stretching out the back this morning. So you might need some padding under your knees, so feel free to add a blanket or a towel or fold up an extra mat or something like that. But we're gonna come to hands and knees. We wanna bring the knees right under the hips and the hands right under the shoulders. Good, all right, spread your fingers wide. We're looking for three even pieces of pie between the fingers. Pull the belly in, and for a moment, you're the table. You're strong, you're steady. And we're gonna breathe here. You might close the eyes, or you might keep the eyes open. If we can breathe through the nose, we're gonna do that. We're gonna inhale and exhale for a moment. And then we're gonna move gently with the breath. So on our exhale, we'll tuck and round, coming to our cat pose. And on our inhale, belly pulls in and we'll gently sway the back, lifting the chest and the chin for cow. And travel this back and forth. This is the first thing you've done today. Take your time, go gently, go easily. If you've already been practicing a little bit, you know, maybe you have a little more intention for energy in your pose. And that's the nice thing about yoga, is we can do it um, different, same pose, but different each time. And let's go once more for each. And then we'll bring the spine back into neutral, nice and even, pull the belly in gently. All right, let's go side to side. So on an exhale, bring a shoulder and hip towards each other. On an inhale, bring them back. Exhale, second side. And we'll travel this back and forth. Let's go once more for each side. And then come on back to center. And then slide back to child's pose, bringing the hips towards the heels and the head towards the floor. You might want to put a block or one or two fists under your forehead and support there. You might want to widen the knees. You might want to put the forehead on the floor with the arms forward or the arms back. So lots of choices. Take a moment and find a place and as much as your body will let you today, just settle in. All right, let's straighten the arms out nice and long if they're not already there. So extended child's pose. Lift the elbows energy in the hands. All right, so we're gonna come to the belly. You could, of course, just come to your knees and very carefully make your way to your belly. If you'd like a little fun and a little more work, um, it's springtime here, so you're gonna come with me and be a little rabbit, little bunny. You see a, a gate or a fence in front of you, you're gonna go under the fence to see what's in that garden. All right, so fingers are spread wide. We're gonna take our elbows out wide. You gotta keep your chin and your chest close to the earth because you're a little bunny, right? You're trying to slide under the fence. As you approach your hands, tuck your elbows in, slide your body through, and lift up and look around. Luckily today, this was a good garden and you found some good stuff. So come on down and take a nap. Bring your arms forward. Let your head rest, forehead, side of the head. Napasana. Take a moment and nap. Give the body time if you need to adjust. Just wiggle the hips, wiggle the thighs. Find a moment to rest here. All right, so here we are. We're gonna strengthen and work on our locust pose. So we're gonna start small and build up. First, keep the upper body very relaxed. We're gonna start with just the legs. So squeeze the belly in. And on your inhale, lift your legs. And on your exhale, lower them down. 
and then let that repeat. Inhale and lift, and exhale and lower. Good, squeezing the belly in. You don't have to lift high, but we're lifting long as if our toes could touch the far wall. Good, and let's repeat two more times. And then let the legs come in and let the legs rest. We're going to upper body. So we're going to bring the hands under the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. All right. Legs are going to be strong. So let your thighs and the tops of the feet press in. We're going to inhale. Lift the chest. And you can put weight in the hands if you need to. But if you can let go, let go. Exhale and lower. Bringing the head down. Inhale. Lift up. Squeeze the belly. Lengthen through the top of the head. And exhale and lower. So take a few more here at your pace. Let's go two more. And after your last one, when you get there, bring your arms forward and take a nap again. All right, so for round three, we're going to put it all together. And I'm going to give you several arm options you can play with. Now, if you need to, if you're building strength or you're newer to yoga, maybe just repeat the legs or just repeat the upper body or alternate those. But if it feels right today to put it all together, let's do it. So first start with the hands up next to under the shoulders like we just did. All right, belly squeezes in on our inhale, we lift, and our exhale, we lower. Okay, so as we lift and lower, you can keep the arms here. You could take the arms out more like cactus arms. You could bring the arms back, palms up. Good. And if you're feeling like you wanted a little extra work, maybe you bring the arms forward and you might leave fingertips down. Or you might bring the arms up. Okay, we're gonna go two more. And on this second one, we're gonna hold and breathe. So pick the arm position that works for best today. We're gonna lift up. Squeeze the shoulders together a little, pull the belly in, lengthen, imagine, we're not going to bounce, but imagine you could bounce off the floor. Breathing, and then gently and softly coming down to your nap pose. If you've been turning your head to just one side, maybe towards the uh, camera or the screen, turn the other way and rest. Alright, and then we gotta get out of this and we gotta stretch a little bit. So we're going back to child's pose. Bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under, lift up nice and careful to hands and knees. Bring those knees up. You might want to widen the knees. And then we're gonna start to bring the hips towards the heels. So maybe you did a lot of work today and you need to just come to your elbows. Maybe you did a lot of work but it feels okay and you're gonna work your way back to child's pose. Maybe we're supporting the head, or maybe the head is low. Arms forward, arms back. So many choices. Experiment. See what feels right. Let's take two more breaths here. Don't rush the rest. The rest is helping us build muscle memory, and it's helping us stretch here. And then we're going to come up nice and easy. So there you go. There is your Monday morning yoga minutes. Feel free to do some more yoga. Maybe roll over. Um, maybe a little bridge pose. Maybe some shavasana. Or maybe you just sit and breathe for a few moments. So take your time. See what feels right. And then come on back and practice with us, with me and us again soon. Thank you so much. And namaste.